Welcome back to Huawei Routing and Switching Elite Training for HCIE. Today topic we are going to discuss on BGP. Let's start our part 10. So in this exercise, we are going to look into BGP community attribute. All right, let's look into the requirement. Company A adjusts AS500 and adds some network. In fact, they added two network, network number 30 and 40. Okay, and after you add it, you need to control network 10030. The requirement is to prevent uh, AS100, 200 and 300, which is 100, 200 and 300 from here, from assessing network 1003. So AS100, 200 and 300 will receive 10.0.4.0. Okay, but on the 10.0, 3.0, this is not supposed to be advertised to this tree. But we can advertise both this network to AS400. Okay, now we can actually do the setting on R6 or R7 on the AS400 to do filter. But the requirement is you have to perform that in R8. So since we cannot configure the policy on AS400, we have to configure that in AS500. That's the requirement. And one of the ways to configure it is using a community. Okay, and the community over here, we are going to use no export. All right, so you are going to advertise to 400, but once 400 receive it, it will not allow to export this to any of the other uh, AS for this uh, network 10030. Okay, so let's look into the solution. Okay, so first we are going to go to router 8 and we are going to add two more network here. So in the uh, interface, okay, so we have the uh, 1002.1 here, so we are going to add additional network, 1003.1 and uh, 1004.1, okay. And then I'm going to go into the uh, AS500 and I'm going to advertise the network. Okay, that's good. So now uh, with the network advertised, let me do a display PGP route. So we should have uh, 3 and 4, okay, that we advertise from router 8. Let's look into the uh, router 6 and see whether this uh, router 6 do receive it or not. Display BGP route. Alright, so we do receive uh, 3 and 4. And uh, let's go to router 4. Okay, so we do receive uh, 3 and 4 network. So the requirement is that 4 is allowed but 3 is not allowed. And uh, the requirement is that you have to configure on R8. So let's do an R8. Uh, as I mentioned, we are going to create the um, prefix to match 1003.0. So first, we are going to look into the prefix, use back the same prefix number. Okay, permit 10.0.3.0.24. Okay, so we have the IP prefix over here. Then I'm going to create a policy. Let's call it like community permit node 10. I'm going to match the IP prefix. The prefix name is 10. And I'm going to apply a community. Okay. So the community I'm going to apply will be no export. Okay, the meaning is do not export to external peer. So this is a well-known community. So as the question suggests that 100, 200, and 300 is not supposed to receive it. So you only can receive it within 400. So I'm going to use a no export. All right, that's good. So I need to create a node number 20. So route policy, com permit node 20, so that the rest will not be uh, denied. So let's just review our route policy, display route policy. 
Okay, so my policy name is called com. Uh, node number 10 is to match prefix number 10. And the prefix number 10 is to match 1003. Okay, so if I do match 10030 prefix, I'm going to apply this as no export. And I also have a permit node number 20. Okay, that's good. So next, I'm going to go into the BGP 500. And I'm going to uh, configure the uh, policy to advertise this route. So my peering will be 68, 116. I'm going to use a route policy. And the policy is called COM. And this it will be export. Now, more importantly is when you configure the community, you have to advertise the community. If you don't use this command, uh, you will not able to see the uh, community attribute. Okay, there you go. So we have configured this. Next, we are going to go into the uh, router number uh, 6 and 7 to double check. So let's go to number 6 first. Let's do a display BGP route. And uh, we are going to look into the uh, 10.0.3. Yes, we do have. And 10.0.0.4 as well. Okay. Let's do a display BGP route. Um, let's look into 10.0.3.0. All right, so sure enough, you can see that the community called no export has been tagged. So that will be on the uh, 3.0. Now 4.0 should not have any uh, community tag on it. So that's correct. So there's no community tag over here. And uh, if I go into the router 4, so you notice that over here I have a 10.0.3.0 router 4. And uh, I'm going to double check over here. Okay, seems like there is no tag here. Let's do a display BGP route ten zero three zero. All right, so you can see that the um, advertisement is actually come from 47, okay? 47 is this guy. And you notice that it's not coming from uh, 46. So in another word, uh, this information is being sent out from router 7. Well, the reason is very simple. is because that router 6, upon receive the uh, community of no export, doesn't export to router 4, but router 7 does. Okay, so let's double check on the router 7 here. Display BGP route 10030. Alright, you can see that there's no tag over here. So in another word, the community is actually just sent to router 6 and it's not being sent to router 7 because community is an optional non-transitive. And for this to send to router 7, so I need to go to router 6 and I'm going to say that peer seven 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 I'm going to advertise the uh, community okay so um, let me do a display this okay so we have the uh, advertised community over here so I go to router 7 and uh, sometimes we need to wait for a while okay so you can see that I still have not propagate yet so let me refresh it Refresh BGP all, import, okay. I also will make sure that if let's say this is effective, I try to export to router 4, okay. Display BGP route 10, 0, 3, 0. Okay, so there you go. You notice that now the no export is available after R6 sent to R7. <clears throat> now since both of the R6 and R7 received the community of no export, 
Now in R4, I should not receive the 10.3 anymore. Okay, there you go. You see that the network does not exist, but you should have 10.4. Okay. All right, so you can see the 10.4 here without any issue. All right, so um, when we do a display BGP route, okay, we have two, we have four, but don't have three. So let's double check on router two and router three. So if I go to router two, display BGP route, again, you can see that there's no three network and router one should be the same. Okay, all right, so this is the uh, solution on using BGP community uh, that we configure on router 8. So just to verify one more time, what we did is in the router 8, we create a prefix. It's called 10.0.3.0. As you can see, that is being permitted uh, twice. Then display route policy. Okay, so if I match the prefix 10, I'm going to apply it and no export. Okay, so I apply this into my peering. Okay, so I export right, this uh, community. And more importantly, for community, you need to use the advertised community keyword. Okay. Okay, so we are going to look into BGP AS path attribute. So company A need to optimize the path of AS300 and has the following requirements. So we have two requirements. The first requirement is to prevent R5 from receiving eBGP route origin from AS100 and 400. So anything from 100 and 400, okay, the uh, AS300 will not able to receive. Okay, anything from these two, I do not want it. Okay, and you are not allowed to use ACL prefix list and you only can do it on router 5. Okay, so the configuration had to be done here. And for this solution, we are going to use the regular expression and this will be used in conjunction with the AS path. We are going to use the AS path filtering, okay, with the regular expression. So since they're asking to block 100 and 400, your regular expression will be anything with 100 or 400, okay, ending with uh, 100, 400. So this will be your regular expression. Now the second requirement is to enable R5 to access external network through default BGP route and perform the configuration on R4. So R4, we are going to use a default route uh, inject into router 5. Okay, so we have uh, two requirements over here. And let's look into the solution. Okay, so this is router 5. Let me check my BGP route. Okay, so I should not have any default route. And I able to receive AS100. You can see that these are all the AS100 as well as the AS400. Okay, so uh, the requirement is to say that R4 is going to inject a default route to R5 and R5 it's not supposed to receive any route origin from 100 and 400. Okay, so let's do it on the uh, R4 first. We are going to do the simple one, which is the uh, sending a default route to R5. Okay, so let's do a BGP 200 that is on router 4. And the command for you to inject a route is to use the default route advertise okay so we are going to use the default route advertise this is a command so display this okay so we have a default route advertise and uh, it will take some time to advertise this so i'm going to do a refresh bgp all export okay and uh, we have to go to r5 refresh bgp all import and let's do a display BGP route. Okay, so we have the uh, zero network over here. So when we do a display BGP route, the default route, uh, as you can see that this is a default route. Okay, and uh, 
it's come from 45 114 which is from router 4 so this is one of the requirement now to solve the second issue um, we have to configure on router 5 to prevent 100 AS and AS400 to send to router 5 okay so the requirement is to perform this solution on router 5 and the solution for us to do is using the uh, path filtering AS path filtering and for us to do that let's do a AS path filter so I just call it as a AS filter okay first I'm going to do do a deny okay let me put it properly yes filter I'm going to deny anything that is ending with 100 or 400 with the dollar sign okay and I'm going to put the s path filter to permit dot asterisk which means that anything that is not being denied will be permitted okay so let's do a display IP as path alright so we have uh, two uh, rules over here the first rule is deny anything with 100 and 400 ending and anything that is not being denied will be allowed alright so in our route policy later we just need to have one permit statement so let's create our route policy and I'm going to use the AS filter okay AS filter permit node 10 if I'm going to match the uh, AS path filter and the filter name is called AS filter as well okay that's it display route policy I have the policy over here and I'm going to apply the policy uh, when it's import so I do a BGP 300 peer 45.1.1.4 okay route policy is filter import okay so let me do a refresh BGP all import so now I do a display route policy okay so you can see that we have a match there and uh, when we do a display BGP route and you can see that those AS100 and 400 has been filtered and this filter is based on the AS path filter so that is the solution and final one let's do a routing table with a protocol BGP alright so you can see that uh, those that's from S uh, the uh, AS100 and 400 which is 10.0.0 network is not there and 10.0.1.0 is also not in my routing table thanks for watching please do not forget to subscribe to our channel